everybody. It's Michelle and I'm so excited about the project that I've got for you guys today. We're going to be making this shaker ornament and I'm so excited about the way this came together. I can't take credit for this idea. This idea was given to me by my mother-in-law and I think it is amazing. I just love this idea. So what I've done here is I've created a shaker with lids from potato chip cans and my mother-in-law told me that you know she had this idea and she wanted me to see what I could do with it and I had so much fun doing this so what I have done is to use three of the Pringles lids and I've built a little winter scene in between the front and the middle one and then between the middle and the back are all of the shaker bits so that that all stays separate and I just love how it turned out we're gonna make another one on camera today and I think you guys are gonna love it so I'm gonna bring in my tray here I've got tons and tons of supplies here I've got some snowflake stickers from the Dollar Tree I've got some flat back pearls and that's going to be around the side to decorate like that. And I think that's very pretty. I've got my three Pringles lids here with all kinds of different things in there. And this one here that'll be on the back. I've got all kinds of sequins of all different shapes and sizes. I just went through my big container of mixed sequins and I picked out the ones I wanted. And on this one, I'm going with a pink color scheme. So I picked out pinks, whites, silvers, and golds. And I think it's going to be so pretty. My favorites are these little pink snowflake ones. I think those are so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and add to that a little bit. I'm going to add in these mirrored snowflakes. And I took the backer off of those. I brought this one in here to show you guys. This was from the Dollar Tree. And there was a whole pack of those with the little sticky dot on the back. So I just took the sticky dots off. And I'm just going to lay them right in here as shaker bits. And there is a ton of sequins in there as well and we're going to add even more so what I've been doing is kind of taking this and just hold it against it the way it'll be once it goes together and then see how far that goes down and we've got some shaking room in there but still a little bit of space I do want to add some more to it though I've got some beads here and I've got some tiny little seed beads in the pink color and then some larger ones here in pearly whites and AB clear and I like a lot of shaker bits because I don't want it to all fall down and look completely empty whenever that's hanging on the tree and I'm going to put a few of these brighter pink seed beads in there and some of my crystal quartz jumbo glitter and I want a lot of that in there because it kind of sticks by static cling so that will be in there when everything else falls down I want a lot of that glitter in there and I think I'm even going to add some of my Nouveau Sunset Stars confetti because I like that gold color with my pink and gold just a few of those 
and then we'll hold that on there again and see how that how that works for us now. And actually that is very, very full. You can see looking at this one, it's not as full. It kind of falls down there. We might take out some of it. You just add as many shaker bits as you want in yours. And you can see that glitter sticks to that back layer. Okay, we're just going to set that aside. Okay, so in our front layer, I'm going to build a winter scene. And I'll bring this one back in so you guys can kind of take a look at that. And for the snow down here at the bottom, I just used half of a cotton ball. So I'm just going to use the other half for my one today. Stretch that out. And just fluff it up until it covers however much of the area that you want it to. Okay. And I'm just going to set that aside. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose my top and bottom. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a number on here. If you can see it right there. And I want that to be down at the bottom. That way the shaker bits will fall and kind of hide that for me. So I'm going to come straight up above that. And choose my center right there. And I'm just going to take a pin and I'm going to poke a hole in that. I'm going to get it as close to the center as I can. And poke a hole. As a matter of fact, I think I'll get my bead reaming tool. And that way maybe I can get that hole big enough to work for me. And there we go. That should be big enough. We don't want it too big because I'm, that's what I'm going to put my string through as my hanger. And I'm just using gold beading wire. I used silver on this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot in that and make a loop to hang it by with about probably a double knot will do well enough right there. And then I'm going to cut that off right at that knot. And then just touch a little bit of my art glitter glue there to keep that knot from coming untied. Now, to get that through there, I'm going to use a needle threader. I'm just going to put it right through that hole that I made. And then I'm going to stick the end of my loop through that. Kind of get it folded like this and pull it through. And then there is our hanger. And I'm just going to touch just a slightest bit of hot glue right at that hole there. And pull my knot right into that. And that should hold really well for us. Okay, and I'm going to put my snowman together and I'm just using pom-poms. This one is about half an inch. This one was a half an inch, but I just trimmed it down to be slightly smaller. And then I put a little face on there using some of my craft paint. I used orange puffy paint 
for the nose and some of the matte tulip paint in black for the eyes. And I just did that because I had those on hand already. If you want to use all puffy paints or all matte paints, whatever you've got, go ahead and use that. I really liked that those had a fine tip already too. So I just did that ahead of time and let that completely dry. And now I'm going to glue that on top of this one with my hot glue. And create our tiny little miniature snowman. Or in this case, I guess snow lady since we're going with a pink theme. Okay, so for her scarf, I'm just using a simple strand of yarn, and I just found some in a pink color that I already had on hand. I'm going to go ahead and start my loop so that I can just slide that over her. tuck some hot glue up under there that'll help hold the knot and hold her scarf in place now with this one I'm going to kind of bring it back over Just kind of lay that down in the direction I want it to go. And that's it. That's all she needs for her scarf. So I'm just going to trim it off. Maybe one of them a little shorter. I like to make them look like they've been tied on a little bit unevenly. Now to get my snow bank in place, holding that where I know where my top and bottom are. And I'm just going to run some of my hot glue along that bottom edge. being kind of generous right here because I want all of that cotton ball to be held in there very well. Just tuck that down and we can worry about all the rest of it later. So I'm just going to take my little tool here and pull that cotton And stretch that out and make my snowbank go any way I want it to. And I think that looks good. Oh, I almost forgot the tree. You can see my little tree in here. And on this one, I decided to just take my white paint pen and just kind of messily put a little bit of white on there and I'll let that dry overnight so it looks like there's some snow on my tree this time and I just made that with my tinsel stems here or not tinsel stems but pine stems and I'm gonna get one out and show you guys and as you can see those kind of go at a certain angle anyway so I just came up here this way where it was already tapered at the top like a tree and I took my wire cutters and cut it off right there and then took my scissors and trimmed around this part here to make a tree trunk and I just love how those are already going in a direction and it just automatically makes a little tree for you okay so I'm going to try to get a little hole down in that cotton. Just pull that apart. 
so I can glue my tree down in there and you won't see where it's glued in front of or behind it. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on the trunk. And stick it right down in there. And when we get that next flat layer on there, it's going to really help hold things in place anyway. So it doesn't have to be done super good. You can see it kind of falls forward that way. But we're going to have that sandwiched in there. Okay, and now my little snow lady. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom. Glue her right down to that snow bank. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay her there and just kind of press and make her flatter if I can so that there's room for her. And now, just like in this one, I want to put some of those snowflake stickers from Dollar Tree. And I like these because it adds a little bit of interest to the background scene there. And I'm just going to cut the tip of that off so it can look like it's just coming out of the edge. But this will add a little bit of interest to the background even when there are no shaker bits behind it. That way it doesn't look plain and empty. And tuck one behind the tree here. And one more. And I think I want it just partial as if it's coming out from the edge too. So I'm just going to kind of round it. Just eyeball it. It's a foam sticker so you can kind of mush it and make it fit that if you need to. I think that looks really good. Okay, so that's just that quick and easy. That little scene in there is coming together. Pull my snowbank around. I want to make sure that that's glued all the way out to the edge. Make sure that I get everything right before I put this together because then there's, there's no changing it then. And a little bit on this side. I just absolutely love this idea. I'm so thankful that my mother and all let me bring this idea to life for her. I just love it. It is so stinking cute. I can't get over it. Okay, so we've got a few things in here that we're not going to be needing for a little while. I need my front. And this was another thing that I kind of stressed over. Again, I'm going to get my number down at the bottom. But I kind of stressed over this as to how to glue this edge to this edge. And I tried a few different things. I tried hot glue, and it's just too clumpy, and it would dry on me before I could get all the way around and get it put together. I tried art glitter glue. I tried Mod Podge. And when it came right down to it, it was so super simple. Double-sided tape. This is just some of the Miss Sparkle and Company that I got from Joanne. And it's half-inch wide. 
and I just simply come around here let's see first of all I want to make sure before I close that that my little snow lady is in the direction I want her you can see it kind of flattens down and holds her in place and I don't want her like leaning all the way over there or anything see how she leans right there so I'm just going to push her up where I want her to be and you could really put any kind of little scene in here that you wanted to do you could use bead charms inside of here that would be really cute and another suggestion that my mother-in-law had was a nativity scene using die cuts and I may do another video later on with that one I think that would be absolutely gorgeous okay so I'm going to just put my double sided tape on there and I'm making sure I think actually I'm going to start on this other side so that I can still make adjustments to the way that snow lady is positioned all the way up until the very end because I just have a feeling she's going to be shifting around on me some more so just hold them together the best you can and just work it all the way around making sure that you get those closely together as you go and now before I go past her I'm going to make my final adjustments on her get her standing up straight the way I want her and finish taping it in place and I think that is just adorable so I'm just smoothing that on really firm all the way around And I'm going to go ahead and take that backer off because I'm going to have to tape and kind of overlap again with my shaker layer. So just with that laying flat like that, I'm going to go ahead and sit that together. And those two will kind of nest into each other and then I'm gonna go right around with my other layer of double-sided tape all the way around slit right there so it can go around that string and again burnish it all the way down especially on this layer because this is what's going to hold all your shaker bits in so you really want to make sure you burnish that layer good I'm going to get my bone folder to help me with that one and I think that's got it pretty good and then just peel that backer off all the way around again and there's all three layers stuck together so then we're just going to cover it with something decorative in this case I'm using gold ribbon
And of course you can tell this is not near wide enough. So I will be coming back and putting some pink ribbon around the edges to finish out the sides. Okay, so again I'm just going to cut a little slit in that so it can go right around my gold string. I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue up under that to hold that end down. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could just use a wider ribbon that'll cover the whole thing. But I wanted to use some of this anyway to get a little bit more of that pink going on. If I can find the end. There we go. And I'm just going to go right straight around. You probably wouldn't want to count on this adhesive. It's more of like a washi tape, but I think the double-sided tape that I have on there is strong enough to hold it. Again, along the front. And I'll just tell you guys, I took a little bit of time figuring this one out and uh, deciding exactly how I wanted to do it. But once I got it figured out, it really goes together very quickly. And these would be great to make and give as gifts. And you could put different little things inside to go along with the personality of each different recipient. Okay. And now I'm going to put my pearls on. And I'm going to start straight down from it at the bottom. And I'm going to do that with a little bit of hot glue. I started with the bigger ones on my other one, but I think I'm going to start with the smaller ones because I have more of those. Actually, the second size down. And just put a little dot of hot glue and stick that right on. I want to make sure it's right at the bottom. Move it over just a touch. And another idea I had after completing this, or completing my first one there, was you could do a hole in that middle one right here, just like we did at the top for the string. And you could do a little jump ring coming out of there so that you could dangle a charm from the bottom. That would be so cute. And I'm just going to go about every half inch and put one of this size. And then I'll come back and come in between these with one of the larger size here. And I won't make you guys watch that whole process. That'll take a little while. It would be very good if I had some of that that's on one band of adhesive or a row of bling or something like that. But I think it gives it a little bit of shape and dimension even when you see it from the front. So I like to add a little bit of something. So I'll go ahead and go around and put all of those off camera. And then I'll be back and show you guys what we're going to do on the top. 
And here it is with the pearls, the flat back pearls all the way around except for the very center where our string is. And I had just enough of that largest size to finish that out. So what I want to do to finish out the top is to make it a little more decorative where it goes up onto the string here. So what I'm going to do is put on a pearl bead. That way it'll kind of blend in with my pearl look that I've got going all the way around there. So I'm going to take my needle threader and put that right through my pearl and put the loop of my string through my needle threader and then pull that through the pearl. And I can slide that down on there and that completes our pearl look. And then to make it a little more decorative I wanted to add some pink up there so I'm going to use one of my pink star beads. Same thing, run my needle threader through there and put my loop right through and then pull it through the bead. And that just gives it a little something decorative at the top there. I think that's really cute. Okay, now, and to keep those from coming off, I'm just going to put a little crimp tube at the top of those. So I'm doing that the same way. I'm going to put my needle threader through my crimp tube, put my loop through my needle threader, and pull that through my crimp tube. And now I'm going to take my crimping pliers and with that back notch, I'm going to get a hold of that tube and squeeze it until I get that sort of elbow macaroni shape. And then I'm going to take the front notch and squeeze that sideways. And I usually take that front notch and just go all around from every angle until it just rounds it out nicely. And then it's barely even noticeable on that string. So there you have it. That's all there is to it. Just put a pretty little Christmas hook on the top of that and you've got a beautiful shaker ornament. I'm going to bring my blue one back in too to show you guys. I think these are absolutely the most adorable thing I have seen in a very long time. I really enjoyed this project and I hope you guys did too. So you guys be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my Pringles lid shaker ornaments. I think those are so pretty. And I think it's a lot of fun seeing the back completely full of shaker bits. I think that is so cute. So leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.